YouTube, what is good? Today, we are going to be doing a super clean mid fade and we're gonna trim up the top. He's gonna get a comb over style with some volume in the front. And then we're gonna clean up his beard and lower it just a little bit. Um, so let's get right into it. So as usual, you wanna start off by drape, draping your client. Always make sure you use the neck strip because if not, you're nasty. Everybody's neck juices. So what you wanna do is start off by dampening the client's hair. And the reason you're gonna do this is because once we trim the top and blow dry it, it gives us a finished style to blend into, right? It's no different than when you do a buzz cut and lower it down to a four and then do the fade. Same concept, but with scissors on top. So you wanna dampen up the client's hair. And then once you dampen up the client's hair, what you wanna do is create our sections. So we're gonna do one on his left one in the middle and then one on his right. So when creating these sections, what we're gonna do is use the inside of his eyebrow as our reference point, And that should be the width of that middle guideline. So we'll go ahead and create the right side first. Bring that right to the inside of his eyebrow and then separate. Same thing on this other side, inside of his eyebrow separate now with this middle guideline this is going to be our uh, reference point when trimming the rest so we're going to establish our length with this so what you want to start off by doing is pulling up a front section of that and what we're going to be doing is taking off about a quarter inch which is not much um because he just likes to keep it at a certain length every time so you want to pull up that middle section and then establish that length and we'll follow this straight back on the head And now after we establish that length in the middle, what you wanna do is comb that over to his right. Once it's all combed over to his right, we're gonna take horizontal sections moving towards the front of his head. So we're gonna start in the back here, create our first horizontal section. And you wanna make sure when you pull up that section that you're able to see the length that you established with the middle on the inside of your finger. So we're gonna pull that up and then we see that slight length difference and we'll cut everything to that. I'm gonna make another one going forward. So right there, that's that length difference. You wanna make sure that every time you go to cut that you see a guideline. And if you don't, I suggest not cutting it cause you don't wanna to create too much, I mean any unevenness. <clears throat> so now we're just moving forward. And there's that slight length difference. Staying real clean, real organized, not getting lost in the hair. Now we're almost towards the front of his head. Still staying consistent here, not switching up the steps. Come chair back for me. Now we're at that front fringe area. You wanna go ahead and pull that up. Super clean, super easy. Now after we complete that right side, we're gonna take that middle section again and comb that over to his left. Start in the back, go forward, and then we're just gonna separate the two. So now we're gonna take horizontal sections on this side. As you can see, push forward and then pull up. And then there's that length difference. I don't know if you guys can see that. Same thing right here. 
I found this system to be the simplest way of trimming um, because this used to be a place that I used to struggle a lot with, with scissors. Um, because it's really easy to get lost, right? I would just pull up, cut, pull up, cut. But this system allowed me to stay organized and give a nice, even haircut. Now we're almost towards the front of his head. So now we're at the front fringe area. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that up and I will trim everything to that length. And then after trimming the top, what I wanna do is go through and cross check it. So I'm gonna comb it all forward and we're just gonna work our way back. So we'll pull it up, see if there's any length difference and then just even it out. So I'm starting in the middle, then I move to his right, then his left, and then we'll get right into the blow dry. So, so far, it looks like we did a clean job. There's a little length difference right here. Now we'll move towards his left. Trying to get it as even as we can. And something I like to do, um, not every time, but sometimes is add clay to the hair while it's damp and before we blow dry. And what it'll do, it'll give, give it a semi hold finish while we do the haircut and then we'll come back and we'll either add more or leave it the way it is. So we're gonna take about a dime size of clay. Just about that right there. Shout out to 45 on the clay. Get yours on Amazon and leave a review. So then you wanna emulsify that in your hands. So I always like to apply product in the back first as opposed to front to back because the back is usually what needs more product. The front, you know, you don't wanna to put too much up there. So now what we're gonna do for the blow dry is I'm not gonna put a nozzle on the blow dryer and I'm just gonna turn the air on and dry his crown first. Um, and this is to make sure that the crown is laying in its natural position. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So as you can see, as I uh, use the blow dryer in his crown, it's separating where it naturally wants to. And that's just gonna ha help it lay a little better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my channel nozzle on there and get into blow drying the rest. Same with the front. We wanna add some volume to the front. So I'm gonna grab it and pull up. Make him look like Johnny Bravo. So now that we got the top all blow dried, we're gonna get into the fade. So again, this will be a mid drop fade. So we're gonna start where the end of his eyebrow is and then we'll slope it around the ear and drop it right at the occipital bone. So we're gonna grab our trimmer. And again, we're gonna start right at the end of his eyebrow. I'm gonna slope it around his ear. And then for the back, you wanna find where his bone is at, which is the part that kind of sticks out. And we're gonna stay right below that. So it's gonna be the same thing on this side. And we'll bring that around here. And now we're gonna come to the back and make sure these meet at a good point. And now we're just gonna go ahead and bottom out. And now once we got everything balled out, we're gonna come in with our shaver and this is gonna take it close to the skin. And what you wanna do is stay right below the top of that um, bald line, cause you don't wanna create another harsh line. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna establish our next guideline about a finger's width. Now everyone's finger width is different. Some people got really fat fingers. Um, but you just wanna put your finger there and make the guideline about that width. And we're gonna come in with our clipper, lever open. So 
So you'll see me go over the guideline multiple times. That's just to make sure it's truly a lever all the way open. So now once we got that lever open, we're gonna come in with our one guard lever open and we're gonna do the same thing about a finger's width. So the fading method I'm using today is establishing all my guidelines first and then we'll blend down once we get to the biggest guard we are going to use. So now right above that, where our two guard lever open. And with this two guard, we're not necessarily um, making a guideline with this. We're coming off the shape of his head. And that's because we wanna make sure we leave enough weight along the ridge. So that way it does not look like an undercut. And the biggest guard we are going to use is our four guard with the lever all the way closed. And with this, we're still coming in and flaring out, trying to maintain some of the weight along the, the ridge area. And this will leave some uh, lines towards the top, but then we'll get rid of it with some scissor over comb. And then for this line right here, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it with our one and a half guard, lever all the way open. We'll continue to attack this line. And now blending down, we're gonna attack this line right here. So we're gonna come in with our half guard, lever all the way open. So we'll come in open right here. And if open isn't doing the job, we'll go halfway. And as you can see, as we continue to work at this line, it's starting to blend out. So now we're here towards the back, lever all the way open, then come in halfway. You can see that line came out very nicely. So now to get rid of this last line down here, we're gonna come in with our clipper, lever all the way closed. And then as we move up, I'll open up that lever little by little. So I'm gonna come in closed right here. Open up that lever a little bit. And now we're towards the back and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Clipper closed, tapping at that line then we'll open it a little bit. Using the corner, we're gonna open a little more. And now what we're gonna do to blend some of that weight that's at the top of this fade is we're gonna do some clipper over comb and then we'll follow it up with some thinning shear over comb and that should get this nice and blended. So I'm gonna come in with my uh, comb and then lever all the way open on my clipper and we're gonna attack some of this weight. Especially right here, there's a slight dark spot, so we want to go ahead and try to get this out. So what I want to do to soften everything up is I'm going to come in with my thinning shears and then my comb. And the same idea with this, you come in with the comb and flare out slightly. And then we're going to use our thinning shears instead of the clippers. So. I'm gonna come in right here, try to soften everything up, get rid of any harsh lines. So as you can see, <clears throat> the reason we dropped the fade is to maintain the weight in his crown, to give it a nice balanced look, as opposed to you know shaving this super low. So now to blend into the beard, all we're doing basically is a reverse taper. So we're gonna come in lever open on our clipper. And then for that line at the top, we'll close it all the way. Get rid of that line in the middle. Now we'll come in with our one guard lever open. Go down a little lower. Still about a finger's width, just like on the head. You don't wanna go super low, but below the bottom of the ear. 
You want to keep it fairly high unless they ask for a deeper blend. Then for the biggest guard we are going to use, we're going to use our two guard lever open. And this should blend right into that length. So now to line up his arch, um, cause he doesn't get any harsh lines in the front. We just kind of clean up the corners. What we're going to do is find the highest point um, of the top of the arch and then the, like the widest point of the bottom and meet those two points in the middle and stretch the skin down and find that highest point. And then the widest point of the bottom and then meet those two points in the middle. And then for this top part, we're just gonna give it more of a boxy look. So I wanna separate the top from that little piece he has. And we're just gonna sharpen that up a little bit. Then we're gonna come in with our uh, Kiss Express alcohol mix and our Sean Cuts Hair Tune 45 card. And we're gonna put that right on his corner. And we're gonna start off light and then we'll darken it up as needed. Start off in that corners part. Then we'll come in right where that, that uh, where the curve meets that box area. And we'll fill that part in. So as you can see, it just sharpened up that box, gave it a nice crispy look. So now what we're gonna do after we completed both sides is lower down his beard to a six guard. That is a four. Oh my goodness, thank God I looked. <laughs> we're just gonna lower his beard down. Oh my God, it's a three, sorry. <laughs> so when lining up the beard, I always like to start with the back and then the bottom and then attack the top. So we're gonna start at the most natural point of the back of the beard. A lot of barbers tend to push this area in, but you want to keep it as natural as possible. Then we're going to go to the bottom, keeping his line right where he has it, and just going straight across. All right, so when lining up the top of the beard, I always like to establish the bottom of the beard and then the top of the beard and connect those two points in the middle. So I'm going to have him blow a bubble for me. So his beard's a little light towards the bottom, but we're still gonna keep it high. So let's establish that line, okay. Then we'll go to the top. And then we'll connect those two points in the middle. And this is gonna help prevent chasing that line and you know, risking taking his beard too low. And you wanna get all those hairs on top. All right, YouTube, this is the cut. We did a nice mid drop fade on my client. We trimmed the top, got his beard right. Listen, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, fam, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.